I, I tell people that this this is an organization that has a soul. We can really care about people. Um, um, there are numerous examples that I would not enumerate where we, as an institution, has gone out of, out of our way to support somebody in adversity. It has happened to me. That's part of the reason why I'm here. Um, but you know, um, you asked me earlier on. That you hear that I talk to, to staff, and and the reason why I do that is because that is my experience. I, uh, when I, when I was younger, and I was a scientist, uh, senior leaders listened to me. They talked to me. They, when they had no business talk to me, at least my, from my point of view, I was way down in the in the in the organization. A specific re uh, case is that uh, you know, in the early 2000s, um, I, as a scientist, had this idea that this laboratory could be the best in the world at computing. At that point in time, we, you know, we had good people, we had good ideas, but we were, known, we were not known as a computing laboratory. And so I asked for a meeting with the lab director. He took my meeting. Right? I mean, he didn't even know who I was. He took the meeting and I said, hey, you know, we have an opportunity to be the best in the world in computing. And he, you know, that's not what he had heard. And so he said, you know, tell me how much money you have in, 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 in the computing area. And at the time we had seven million dollars. Today we are in the hundreds of millions of dollars, right? Seven million dollars. And, and, and he said, you know what, Thomas, we, you know, we don't create an organization for, for, for seven million dollars. You need to have at least 40 million dollars or something like that. And, and I remember telling him, you know, Bill, one way to guarantee not to have $40 million is, for, is not to take this seriously. And I really do believe that there is an opportunity. He said, tell me more. And at the end of a half hour, there was only a half hour meeting, he said, okay. I said, what do you mean, okay? And he said, you know, you have your computing building. And so what you see today uh, as sort of the center of the universe in, in high performance computing came about because somebody who sat in this chair listened to somebody who was early in their career, had an idea, had a vision, had a passion, and, and the lab director had to, to not think beyond just our, you know, numbers and, and believe in that person. And, and that's what I try to do because we truly are a people-centric organization. We, we celebrate them, we support them, we hire the best, we mentor them, we give them the opportunity, and we really invest in them. We celebrate their success, and it isn't through their success this laboratory succeeds. So that's what I do. Uh, we, we are a people-centric organization, we support them, and in order to make sure that the future of, of those staff and the scientists and this institution is preserved, sometimes we have to make difficult choices. And that's a job that I have signed up to do as well. And so I do that in order to make sure that the staff have a bright future, that the institution has a bright future, and that we remain a premier institution in the world supporting DOE missions.